There was a quick and fast reaction. Talk about no reaction in healthcare stocks. We certainly got a reaction to that tobacco announcement. Well, this goes straight to the heart of these companies' business, right? I mean, if nicotine uh, is indeed the reason that a lot of people smoke because they come, become addicted to it, and if the FDA is going to mandate a reduction in nicotine, then that could be uh, really a, a, the biggest threat since the last uh, sort of big regulatory change that we saw on tobacco. Now, the FDA is say, saying now it plans to begin a public dialogue about this. So it's not as though they are coming out with rules today. It's sort of the beginning of a discussion is how uh, they're talking about it. They're going to take public input on the proposal here. And I just got off the phone with Ken Shea of Bloomberg Intelligence, who covers these stocks. He definitely says this is a net negative for tobacco, particularly traditional tobacco. But of course, it could affect a lot of the newer smokeless products as well. E-cigarettes, for example, there's nothing to suggest that they would be immune to this. He also pointed out that uh, there is some discussion about flavored uh, cigarettes as well, uh, flavored e-cigarettes, other types of uh, smokeless products uh, that the FDA is discussing here, that that would also be an issue because that's one of the appeals of some of the new products if you take away uh, flavors. So all of this, as we can see here, is affecting uh, some of these stocks, even a Philip Morris International, which now doesn't really get business from the United States, the FDA coming out and making a statement like this is still affecting the stock. Huge. And of course, Julie, it stocks on both sides of the Atlantic, isn't it? Yes. Because I'm looking at Imperial Brands, which makes Goulois and British American Tobacco, BAT, big exposure to the United States. So both sides of the Atlantic are getting absolutely hammered, aren't Yeah, well, British American uh, just bought Reynolds American, um, and it was just preparing. We just ran a story out yesterday that it was just preparing to sell its heated tobacco uh, device in the United States. You have uh, the vapor uh, devices and you have the heated tobacco devices, so now there are different types of technology. Um, if we are able to take the Bloomberg, I just made a quick chart before I ran in here. Uh, looking at the long-term uh, stock performance of Altria, Philip Morris, and British American. Now, Altria in its sort has been around the longest, I guess, although, of course, it's, it was also a spin-off. But you can see the stocks have actually done quite well. When they solved the problem of how to lure in more people with exactly. smokeless and flavored tobacco products, right? Exactly. So we had actually seen the stocks, despite the declining rates of smoking here in the U.S. as well, they had found new markets around the globe. So it was a combination of a sort of developing market demand as well as technology, uh, different ways to consume tobacco. Um, and now you can see these stocks are all taking a big hit on this uh, latest threat to to pretty much the very existence of the industry. One huge, huge step from the FDA. 